in this video, let's do stocks by request and better do it by one of the top stocks you guys requested for the week. Let's talk about Jollibee. So if you want to know more, where is it right now and what happened to it after the movement last year, check this video out. Hi everyone, this is Marvin Germo. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and smash that bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing, about the stock market, or even for this video, stocks by request. We just hit over 75,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. The road to 100,000 subscribers is right there. So I appreciate you guys for being part of this channel. Thank you so much for taking part in the hunger to learn more about winning and trading the markets with confidence. So let's go and let's proceed with stocks by request for Jollibee. Hey guys, so it's the start of a new year. We're done with a lot of the stocks. I've been doing a lot of other content similar to MP2, uh, other investment options for all of you. But of course, we're gonna keep on doing the top stocks that you guys requested via social media. So for those who are new to this, what I do is I do stocks by request, the top stocks that people would send out via uh, Instagram, via YouTube, via Facebook, via private message. They get tallied and the top requested stocks get nominated and get analyzed as well. So if you guys have any other stocks that you guys want me to analyze, just put them on the comment box. Comment, uh, Just comment them below and then we're going to make videos about them as well. We're going to try to analyze them. By the way, all of this also is under the context of technical analysis, meaning everything is uh, predominantly based on what the charts are telling us as well. That's why the chart is amazing. That's why technical analysis is amazing because everything you need to know is found in the charts. Everything you need to know is found based on what the technicals are telling us. That's why we don't need to look at hyper speculation because we get to see everything from that aspect. By the way, as what we've talked about also in previous videos, uh, Jollibee's 2019 income might not be as rosy as what their first, second, and third quarter disclosures were. Uh, it seems like that they're very, very far from where they were in terms of their 2018 earnings. So uh, people will be watching what's going to happen to them for February and March this year when they disclose the 2019 full year earnings but just to be honest i'm not too sure that it will be something that's very very optimistic i'm not even sure if it will be higher than the 2018 earnings so just to manage expectations it's all predicated on smash burger it's predicated on smash burger not making a lot of money losing money also for them that being said, that's what caused people to move out. Please remember also, it's not about we believe Jollibee will turn it around. It's more of what are the big funds saying about it. Because if they believe that the, it's not going to turn around soon, they're the ones selling and positioning in other stocks as well. Please remember that uh, in the Philippines, we're still predominantly uh, pushed by foreign funds, but not just foreign funds foreign institutional funds that if they sell a certain security, no matter what opinions we have on it, if they sell it, it will just continue to go down as well. So that's what it is from a from that perspective. But if you're an investor, your time long, timeline is long and you believe that they could turn it around, you could position now, wait, you're gonna, you're gonna have to wait though up until uh, the revenue starts to get better as well. Now, let's look at the charts. Now, looking at the charts, you will basically see this. If I'm gonna draw, a trend line here and if as you can see as I start drawing the trend line you see this uh, as I try to extend it this and by the way you see another charting software that's why it looks kind of different from the previous videos that I would create uh, if you see it here uh, the stock is still pretty much in its uh, in its in its downtrend if, as you can see it from this perspective so as you can see one of the things that we do to connect to connect and pursue downtrends is uh, when a stock has has highs that are decreasing or higher lows, you can still peg it that it's at a downtrend. So you see this downward trending line protecting, preventing the stock from going up. So one of the things that I will look at is I want to see it out from that downtrend for me to actually see that there's a reversal happening in that particular stock as well. So um, please take note of that downward trending line. And up until the stock escapes that downward trending line, we can't really see that there's a full reversal intact for it. That's one. Number two is you can also look at 
uh, the 200 day moving average which is the purple line here uh, what what I normally teach in the stock smart sessions is as long as the stock is below the 200 day moving average it's still predominantly bearish it's still predominantly uh, you still have more sellers uh, winning in the stock you you want if you want it to be a clear reversal you want it to be above the 200 day moving average so as of this point in time we're still not yet there so two bearish signals one is the trend line uh, which which you can see from here which started april 2019 so we are now sitting on a eight month trend line heading down april 2019 to where we are right now jollibee still pretty much on that downward trending line please remember the downward trending line also happened prior to whatever movement happened because of cbtl or smash burger please also do note that the breaking of the 200 day moving average happened uh may uh may 15 2019 as well so it turned bearish from the 200 day moving average may it, the downtrend started also uh, the higher the high the, the the high started to decrease starting april 2019 so two things from a trend perspective it's still bearish from a 200 day moving average perspective it's still pretty much also bearish as well so from a position trading standpoint we really haven't seen a reversal yet however for those who want to do quick trades, what you can also do is basically this. You, as you can see here, there's also a resistance around the 230 plus level, and there it jolly at uh, 230 plus the 230 plus level, and there's also now a sup, there's also a level of support. There's also a level of support somewhere. Let me just fix this. There's also a level of support somewhere here as it started to hit uh, the 186 level there there was a level of buying there so what can be seen is actually this if you're the one trading a particular set of range you can peg that there you can peg the resistance uh you can peg the resistance here at 232 pesos per share what what can be said about that is this if jollibee fails to break out from 232 you may expect it also to continue to slope uh downwards still and it could probably also move sideways and it could put it also within still the downward trending uh longer range as well so from from this range bound perspective you can have a 180 6, 184, 85, 86, 87 support level and you can also put a resistance level around 230, 231, 232, 233 level as some sort of resistance for the stock as well. So 185, 86, 87 as a support level, resistance 230, 231, 232, 233 as some sort of a resistance for the stock. Looking at some of the shorter moving averages, uh, it's already above the 20-day moving average. Looking at the MACD, it's already above the zero level. So you have some shorter uh, shorter indicators giving you that the stock is, hey, somewhat giving you a more bullish stance already, or at least it's showing you a change in direction. What I'm saying here is this, the change in direction may be from downward trending into something that could possibly move sideways for some time, or people are just also waiting for the uh, 2019 earnings report. If it if it's not as bad as what people think it is, it may go sideways or it may have a chance to go up. But if it's much worse than what people uh, think it is, please remember the stock market is all about perception. Meaning, if it's not as good as what people think it is or it's bad, people will sell it down. So if the report is bad you may expect the stock also to push lower as well so that's what it is and that's what the charts are telling us as well uh you can also look at volume indicators as well uh, if you see more people pushing uh still money still moving out you can't really expect it to move higher what causes stocks to move up is when you see it also from a volume standpoint that people are also accumulating and as of this point in time we have not seen it yet so just to end this video a couple of things number one respect the trend line that i noted uh until it breaks out from that trend line you can't really expect it to reverse respect the 200 day moving average uh until it breaks past that 200 day moving average you can't really see a full reversal for those looking at the range the range right now is 186 to around 233 failure to break out from the 233 level please do note that we can't really expect it that we can't really think that it's going to go higher until it breaks that level failure to break the 233 level you can expect that it could retrace lower it's been also ho hovering already from 210 uh, to 200 but the lowest support is around 184 185 186 levels as well for the stock so if it if it moves in that range then we could just possibly see that jfc could possibly move sideways for a shorter period of time as well macd is above zero uh shorter moving averages are denoting 
a more bullish standpoint. But again, in analyzing moving average, the longer the moving average, the stronger it is up against its uh, shorter and weaker counterparts as well. I hope you guys got a lot from this. I'm going to do more of these videos. I'm going to do more of the charting videos as well. Just comment them below. Hashtag stocks by request. Comment. I'm learning if this is something that's helping you as well. Please remember my, my main style is this and I've been doing this over and over. It's all about technical analysis. It's all about charts. It's all about everything you need to know is found on what the charts are telling you. Everything you need to know is found on what the technicals are telling you as well. Because at the end of the day, uh, you need to find something that will anchor you that you're not basing things on on what you see in the news or what you see on what everyone else is doing the name of the game is you have to decide on your own the name of the game is you have to decide based on what either the fundamentals or technicals are, are telling you and you have to double down on that you have to have a firm conviction on what you want to do you have to have a firm conviction on how you want to treat the markets because that's how you will win and that's how it becomes sustainable and that's how you can do it over and over and over and over and over again so i guess that's it for now if you have any questions also with regards to this just put them in the comment comments below and I'll try to make videos about it. If you have specific comments on Jollibee, put them below and I'll try to answer them on the comment section. Or if you have some video requests based on the charts or based on Jollibee, I'm going to make videos on it as well. I'm going to try to, I hope now I get to interview someone from Jollibee so we get to have a sense also on what they're saying also about the company. So if you, yeah, uh, I hope I hope I get to do it over the next few days, but let's see if it actually happens. And I guess that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo, uh, always on your side, always pushing you to just continue to study because at the end of the day, it's what you know and your skill set that will help you make money, not just now, but it's something that will be part of you already that will help you win over the long term. Never pursue money, pursue building that skill because it's that skill that will help you make money over the long term. So I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.